have a look at another kind of you know gen uh, factor which affects evolution and this is pretty new it was a bit different from darwin's theory and that's called artificial selection right now we've already studied natural selection in which darwin clearly stated that you know traits are naturally selected amongst organisms through uh, during uh, sexual reproduction during reproduction <clears throat> Traits get naturally selected due to variations and uh, these variations cause naturally selected traits to come into organisms and hence uh, promote variation, promote, select, uh, promote survival of the fittest and promote change in body design. So that was what he called natural selection. But as we go further, again as science and technology develops, we tend to develop our own ways to modify science and nature and artificial selection is a very good example of the same so basically this artifice, artificial selection it revolves around the idea of artificially selecting traits artificially selecting desired traits in organisms when we want to base when we desire different organisms to have specific traits and we artificially select these traits through using technology through using genetic modification so doing all this we go into artificial selection right and a very good example of this is its application in the agricultural sector and to understand that we are going to study the example of wild cabbage wild cabbage evolved right we will study the evolution of wild cabbage and wild cabbage evolution is courtesy to artificial selection so how did that take place let's see so first we had wild cabbage right it was a leafy green vegetable which okay all farmers used to grow and they used to cultivate but again market needs differed market needs changed and now they wanted arrested flower development right so the flower development should be arrested they should be compressed they should be you know somewhat very very closely packed that's called arrested flower development and through arrested flower development they developed a new variety of wild cabbage right and that was what we commonly call today cauliflower right a, a vegetable which we all relish a lot of us relish gobi so cauliflower or gobi as we call it in hindi cauliflower was developed through arrested flower development of wild cabbage and you know it was a way in which we developed a new variety of wild cabbage now when we wanted you know another kind of variety when we saw that we needed some leaf you know leaf development arrested leaf development right now another need came up that we want arrested leaf development so for arrested leaf development they developed another variety of wild cabbage right and that was what we call today can you guess what it is it is cabbage general cabbage So it's what we call cabbage, right? Then we developed two more kinds of wild cabbage, right? One was kale, right? One was kale, which we have developed. Another is kohlrabi. Right? Again, through genetic modifications and through artificial selection, we wanted particular needs for the market. And accordingly, specific traits were introduced and hence kale and kohlrabi were also developed. Right? Again, we have something called lettuce, which has developed from wild cabbage itself. So again, we have lettuce too. Lettuce. So again, you can see how from one source from one common origin so many different things have been developed right that's pretty simple that's pretty easy very nice to understand right and this is what we call artificial selection artificially we selected traits in wild cabbage which we desired and in this in this process we developed so many different kinds of the same 
plucked of the same organisms uh, of the same organism and we developed different varieties of the same organism so now we have kohlrabi we have cabbage we have cauliflower we have lettuce and we have kale all from that same common origin that is wild cabbage right so artificial selection again a very prominent thing in the agricultural sector clear example is wild cabbage thank you very much goodbye and please look forward for the next video that is evolution and progress